Hey guys, if you more, back with a quick review. This time it is on a 200 miles, what is advertised on the eBay list, and my really thing is like 120, 150. We'll say 150 mile lead or L E A D Z M, lead Z M uh, directional antenna. So if you want to go ahead and skip to the results, there's two sets. There's a set when I have the antenna set up about five feet tall, just as a test. That is around four and a half minutes. And if you want to skip to the real test where it's mounted about 15, 16 feet in the air, that is at about six and a half minutes. So if you want to skip that and go ahead, I have no problem with that. And I thank you all for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe button if you found it helpful and you want to help out the channel. All right, and with that, you'll see a quick assembly video here. This is not meant to be a step-by-step. -step. It's just meant to show it's kind of quick and easy. Uh, the instructions basically take care of you pretty well. The uh, product itself, not very fragile. It's very light. It's under six pounds. The um, only cables you need are a one is the coaxial that comes with it, and so you don't need a, any aftermarket unless you're like me and wanted to put it up extra high. We put it up 15 feet. And the 10-foot cable they or they uh, gave us obviously was not long enough, so we went and bought some new cable. But for the 15-foot test, it worked pretty well. I will say this, this particular item on eBay where I purchased it's also available on Amazon, but this listing registered it as being a 200-mile range. I don't see how that's possible. The best I've gotten out of it in my area are stations in areas that are about uh, 45 to 55 miles away. There you see me assembling the motor a little bit. The uh, motorized portion requires no separate power source. The power source itself is the coaxial, so as long as the coaxial cable is running through the amplifier, that little black box that comes with it, is, uh, and runs to the uh, antenna, it'll be fine. That's all the power needs. Very, very low wattage motor, so it works just fine with just the coaxial power. So you have one wire going down from the antenna, and that is the coaxial itself. That coaxial connects to the amplifier box. The amplifier box then has a cable that runs out to your television, and that is it with the exception of the power cord to the amplifier box. So you're dealing with three cables here, one going to the television, one going from the antenna to the amplifier box, and then one actual power cable that goes to the amplifier. You will need a separate AAA battery for the remote for the amplifier because the amplifier, not in addition to the amplifier, is also the, the button that allows you to rotate the motor around, which I demonstrate at around the six minute mark. So if you want to skip ahead to there, that is where you'll find the motorized portion going. It will turn almost 360 degrees, but then it stops because they don't want the cord getting wrapped around. So basically you press it, it'll rotate, it'll get to its max rotation, then you press it again and it'll go in the, it'll then pivot in the opposite direction. Overall, I would say I'm satisfied with this. Not perfect, but still pretty good. Um, there's other options out there, uh, but they all basically operate in their same option. Uh, same idea and you look here you'll see all the trees around we did pretty well at five foot it picked up channels okay at 15 foot it was substantially better so I would recommend putting this up high if you're able to do it we put it ours on the fascia board on the side of the house and it worked pretty well um, overall satisfied not perfect but then again it's a free option basically you're paying 20 bucks plus the cost of items to mount it up and there you go so overall happy with it pretty good I would say that it's not accurate in that it does not have a 200 mile radius that are 200 mile range under reasonable conditions i would say under perfect conditions up on a hill yeah maybe it does have that range but down down here we only got about 55 mile radius at best out of this so we weren't getting any of their stations out of like winston or any, any place like that i don't we didn't even get the, st the stations down at the coast so we are about and we're well within even 100 miles of the coast so we should have gotten them based on the advertisement but i'd say 120 mile 120 mile diameter at a 60 mile radius that's fairly reasonable with the further out those stations are the less the more spotty the coverage is but the image quality looks good and other than that i'm pretty satisfied with it for about 23 dollars much more than that for the price i probably would expect more out of it other than that guys thank you so much and have a great day i'll put maybe elevator music at the end of this just so you have something to listen to have a good one